video on fun math today let's discuss about functions composite functions what are what are composite functions let's see let us consider two functions as you can see on this picture f of x first function is f that is from x to y1 as you can see here x to y1 that is f and let's consider another function that is g that is y1 to y now what we should do if we want another function h such that it if you input x value it results in y value means x to y a function from x to y what can we do to get a function from f to y x to y which is means instead of giving two functions then h of x will be g of f of x right here the function is g the name of the function is g and here we are inputting the value y1 or y1 is also call, can be also we called as the value f of x we are giving f of x to g so you can call that like f of g of x g of f of x or g of of x so you should read like g of f of x now to obtain the h of x how can we obtain the value of h of x by giving it the value of x it is simple first find f image in f of that of that inputted variable x first find image of that in f of x such that x belongs to capital x and f of x belongs to y1 and here y1 is the domain of g of f of x right y1 y1 is the domain of that it is the domain of g of x then we take g image of f of x we will take again image of f of x in g that is g of f of x so that we can find the value of y right now if we want to understand that properly the diagram here will show you first you input at the variable x it undergoes the function f and then it gives value f of x and then f, you input at f of x and it undergoes to the function g and you will get g of f of x the function h is defined in the diagram is called composition of f and g and is denoted by g of f of x g o f of x is denoted by g o x g o f it can also be expressed clearly as domain of g o f is x if x belongs to domain of f and f of x belongs to domain of g x is the domain of f and f of x is the domain of g and we can write f of g of x as f of g of x that is equal to x where x belongs to domain of g and g of x is the domain of f of x if you take f of g of x then it will be reversed and in general f of g is not equal to g o f those two are two different functions for example if you take f of x as x plus 1 and g of x as x square then if we take f of g then it will be substitute the value of x square in place of x or it will be x square plus 1 but g of x is x plus 1 whole square so those two are two different functions let's see properties of these the first property is it should be noted that g o f exists if range of f is subset to domain of g the range of f is subset to domain of g i hope you know what is subset and similarly f o g exists if range of g is subset of domain of f and the composite function is not commutative to means f o g is not equal to GOF or GOF is not equal to FOG as we discussed before. 
and the composite functions is associative that is if there are three functions f g and h then f of g of h and f of g of h are defined and both are equal means f of n tends to i not f is n tends to i not and g is i not becomes q and h is q becomes r then if f of x is 2x and g of x is 1 by x and h of x is e power 1 by x then h of g of f is h of g means you should substitute 1 by x in place of x means it will be e power 1 by 1 by x means it is e power x h of g is e power x of f it is e power x and in x plus you should substitute f of x that is 2x e power 2x and if you take h of g of f g of f means substitute 2x in place of x so it is 1 by 2x and h of that means h of g y f means it is 1 by 2x substitute 1 by 2x in place of x e power 1 by 1 by 2x means it is e power 2x both are same Let's take the fourth property. The composite of two functions is bijection. That is, if f and g are two bijections such that f of g of f is defined, then g of f is also a bijection. Proof. Let's prove that. Let f be a function from A to B and g be a function from B to C. And these are two bijections, then g of f exists such that g of f is a to c right g of f is, is nothing but a to c we have to prove that g y f is 1 1 and on 2 if we prove that you can prove that it is also a bijection 1 1 let a a 1 comma a 2 belongs to a such that f of g of a 1 is equal to f of g g of f of a2 g of f of a1 is equal to g of f of a2 then g of f of a1 is equal to g of f of a2 then that implies g of f of a1 is equal to g of f of a2 that means f of a1 is equal to f of a2 right so g is 1 1 and a 1 is equal to a 2 that means f is 1 1 so g of f is also 1 1 function on 2 let c belongs to capital c then c belongs to capital c that implies that c belongs to capital c then c belongs to capital c and let there will be another one b such that b belongs to capital b and such that g of b is equal to c g of b is equal to c and b belongs to b that implies there is another variable a that belongs to a such that f of a is equal to b now here g of b is equal to c that means g is on to since g is on to and f of a is equal to b since f is on to therefore we see that c belongs to c that implies a belongs to capital a such that f of g of a is equal to g of f of a or it is g of b or it is c that means that g of f of x is also an on 2 now let's take an example let f of x be on closed interval of minus 2 comma 2 and is given by f of x is equal to minus 1 if minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0 means if x is in between minus 2 and 0 then the value of that function is minus 1 
and if it is in between 0 and 2 then value of that function is x minus 1 and there is another function g of x that is f of modulus x plus modulus f of x or absolute value f of x then we should find the value of g of x now if minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0 that means that modulus x what will the modulus x be x is negative right but modulus x should be positive means it should get opposite sign so modulus x will be minus x opposite sign now f of minus x is equal to question mark we should find that now let let us think there is another variable y such that y is equal to minus x then if you substitute that in f of x then you'll get f of y is equal to here y is in between 0 and 2 right we use it modulus so it will just be x minus 1 but here we have variable y so y minus 1 and if you substitute y it is minus x minus 1 why you have substitute another variable y because if we tell normally you may think minus x is positive right so it will be x minus 1 so I have taken another variable for decreasing the confusion now that means if x is in between minus 2 and 0 g of x is equal to f of minus x modulus of x is minus x right plus mod modulus f of x that means minus x minus 1 plus modulus of minus 1 minus 1 is negative right so if you take modulus it becomes positive so it is g of x is equal to x minus 1 plus 1 or it is minus x g of x is minus x if x is in between minus 2 and 0 and if x is in between 0 and 2 you can change that or you can break that into two parts if it is in between 0 and 1 and 0 and 2 why you have break that because if it is in between 0 and 1 or if it is in between 0 and 2 then the value of that is x minus 1 right so if it is in between 0 and 1 at 0 it will be negative 1 and at 1 it will be positive that means x minus 1 will be negative in 0 comma 1 and it will be positive in 1 comma 2 so we have taken it as two parts First, if it is in between 0 and 1, then g of x is f of modulus x plus modulus f of x. That means x is positive, right? So modulus x will also be, will be the same, x. f of x plus modulus f of x. If you substitute those values, it is x minus 1 plus modulus of x minus 1. Now, if it is in between 0 and 1, x minus 1 is negative, right? So modulus of x minus 1 will be opposite sign of that or it is 1 minus x x minus 1 plus 1 minus x all cancel out so you will get 0 g of x is 0 in interval of 0 comma 1 and at interval of 1 comma 2 it is f of x plus modulus f of x means x is positive right so you can take f of x now here f of x is also positive so no need to take modulus so it will be x minus 1 plus x minus 1 or it is 2 times x minus 1 so g of x is minus x if it is in between x is in between minus 2 and 0 0 if x is in between 0 and 1 2 times x minus 1 if x is in between 1 and 2 okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you not comment down below if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video